Welcome to Southeast Ohio Solar Haven. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't been making uh, any video updates here lately. I've uh, been kind of busy. As you can see, I had to move these. Uh, power company is getting ready to do their work and they kindly asked me to move it out of the area that they're going to be working in. So whenever they get ready to do that, um, they're supposed to remove this tree stump right there for me. So that's going to be a plus. That'll all be fun and dandy. Yeah, it's been a warm one. My wife's jungle, as I like to call it. She likes her flower garden, but it's been a little warm and toasty here lately. But uh, yeah, moved that out of the way for him. Uh, it's going to be fun, I guess. Going to hear them making all kinds of noise and all that happy jazz over here. But uh, yeah, I made a decision on what I want to do with these racks. I actually repaired these. Um, I'll take a walk over here. You can see I got different wheels on this rack. And I'll walk you over here. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to talk about Harbor Freight wheels. Uh, these wheels here hadn't even been on that very long. And look at this crap. Just look at it. This flat out junk, they fall apart. Look at that. Not even... Would you look at that, like the guy says, <laughs> it, it, they just dry rotted. They're just absolutely junk. I, I, I don't get it. I really don't. I didn't roll them, roll them around much or anything, but yeah, it's a mess. Man, got some more of these pallets like this right here. I built this, so other projects going got my panel sitting right there and that's getting ready to be done Bob the builder as I always like to say he's back in town but anyway back to our tire subject I replaced those with hard rubber tires much better um, I probably need to put some washers on them because I actually picked up the wrong ones uh, I'll go back here and show show you where I screwed up Everybody screws up, but as you can see how these hubs are on these, they got these right here. Yeah, get there. There we go. You got this right here and right there, and I'll take you back over here, and you can see my screw up. <laughs> but you know, see this side had a little bit of a hub on it but I still had to put washers on it and that side really didn't but I need to put a few more washers on them and they'll be fine but I'm going to take these panels off of this rack here and I'm going to take and put them over top on top of that building roof that's what's left there and then I'm going to take these two panels and put it on this rack which will feed the 12 volt lithium bank inside which is not 12 volt which is 24 but it's all banged down to 12 volt that's an upcoming video and for those that are interested in the garden specialties well wow that's all i gotta say this year this thing's garden mess has just went blooming crazy on us my wife's out here daily picking green beans or a tomato or a squash or a zucchini and we love our okra uh, as you can see there there's an okra starting my wife's already picked off plenty of okra off of here um, we got what they call red okra and the regular okra and there's a bloom coming on but as you can see they got some nice Ooh, there's a big okra right here. There's a couple. There's a nice tall okra right there, as you can see. Look at that. Yeah, that's ready to be picked, actually. And then there's the red okra, as you can see here. There's a nice okra right there. Really good in soups and 
um, salad, stuff like that. But yeah, there's our, uh, whoo, we'll have to pick, look at there, got some peppers, yummy, yummy. I'm gonna have to pick up a couple peppers. Got our beans right there. And I believe this might be our squash or zucchini, I can't remember. One zucchini and one's a squash, that's all I can remember. I think the cucumbers had, uh, yeah, I think cucumbers pickled out. And then we got, this is a watermelon patch here. As you can see down there, there's a big melon. There's a big melon. There's another melon coming on. My wife said she's seen seven of them in here, so <clears throat> that'll work out. Looks pretty cool to me. Uh, radishes. Had some probably ready to lift up out of the ground there. Oh, good Lord, look at the size of that radish in there, if you can see it. Huge radish. Woo-wee. Had a little bit of a bug problem, so hopefully my, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Really can't. I call them alien balls. Um, it'll come to me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I got the little, as you can see down here, got the patch of grass cleared out. The weeds I needed to mow down for the new solar rack I'm going to be building here. Uh, so it's all cleared out here. It's not going to take up this whole entire area, but I cleared out a big enough area to do so and threw down some grass and weed killer to kill it down some. So that'll be good. I got all the materials ready for it up here. Yeah, the back side of everything here. Oh, yeah. Yep. As you can see right here, got the unit strut on, on hand. And look at that. Buckets upon buckets of empty cat litter boxes. Water pails. Makes nice for mixing concrete. Mm. Free water too, heck yeah, and for watering. By the way, this uh, rain catchment system has been doing great. It's been filled up several times this summer. Uh, right now, it's probably about 180 gallons in there, so that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. As you can see, the old ash trees are dying off. <sighs> Lovely stuff. Been waiting for a windstorm and things are dangerous. But uh, yeah, I haven't been doing much other than, you know, got that cleaned off and getting ready to do that solar rack. Been kind of busy here lately. Doing a lot of running around, doing stuff for doctor's appointments and stuff, so. But yeah, the garden, as you can see, it flourished this year. This is probably well, this is the best one so far because this is the second year we did it, so we had to use this. We figured out last summer it was just too much sun, so we kind of used that uh, sunshade screen over top of it to keep it from uh, sunburning the plants all the time. Um, going to be getting ready to replace this deck back here trying to kill off this uh, old ivy back here if anybody has any suggestions about how to kill off ivy other than chop it down i poured some weed killer on it and petrol or whatever you guys oil gas but it seems to you know it'll get the grass but don't seem to kill off that ivy very quick so that way I can get it out of there. Well, anyway, once again, thank you for subscribing and watching my channel. Click on the like button down there. Like I say, it only hurt once. Uh, click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Uh, 
hope you all have sunny solar days and take care.